Hey everybody, happy Wednesday to all of you out there watching the Draw Along Show. I'm glad you're here with me today. Um, yes, I took a little bit of time off, but I'm back and I'm ready to draw, and I hope you are too. Now remember, this show is for all ages. Uh, this is a show for all skill levels as well. And what we like to do is a little step-by-step -step drawing together. Um, it only takes about 10 or 15 minutes, and voila, you have a finished drawing on your paper or on your screen if you happen to be drawing on a tablet or on a computer or wherever you're drawing. Um, and as I like to say, to do this show, you do need something to draw with. Pencil, pen, marker, crayon. Or you could pull the antenna right off an old TV set and you could dip it in some soy sauce, mix a little mustard in there, and then draw all over your parents' favorite carpet. It's up to you. You draw with what you want. The only thing that could possibly derail the show today, I have to say, folks, um, so I'm feeling good about it, um, would be like a unicorn popping up and messing things up. You know that unicorns love two things in this world. And what are they? Early 19th century romantic poetry and crashing live streams. I haven't seen a unicorn in years. They don't usually come by these parts here where I live in North Carolina. So it's probably not going to be an issue. And I don't think we have to worry about it today okay so let's not fret hey speaking of unicorns folks did you hear about the unicorn that had a really bad attitude it was always saying nay <laughs> i think we should get some drawing what do you think about that gang all right let's say hi to some folks who are joining us from all over the world, we have Sam and Hillary and Umicorn and Fabio. Hello, folks. I see Destiny is here as well. Oh, yeah, I know Destiny. It's a bad joke, isn't it? I apologize for that. What are you going to do? Hey, also, gang, if you're joining us on YouTube or on Twitter or Facebook, make sure that you go over to behance.net slash live if you want to join the chat and talk to me, ask questions, and make requests for the drawing at the end of the show. It's a very short show. It's about 27 minutes long. But at the end, I draw an animal doing something funny or weird or strange. That's the old animal and activity game. And it's a crowd favorite. If you want to get in on that action, head over to be or behance.net slash live where you can join the live chat. That's the chat that I'm reading right now. You're welcome to watch from wherever you like. But I'm going to see the comments from all the folks over here on Behance. Um, I see Merc Mercurial is here as well. Hi, Bernadette. Nice to see you. Are you joining us from Scotland? That is really cool. All right, gang. Now, let's get set for drawing. Remember, these drawings are simple and they require only three things of you. And they are to be able to draw the following three things. A straight line. Okay. A zigzag. And what's the last one? You know what it is. A curvilinear line. Okay, S-curve, C-curve, could go this way, that way. Could be a long one like that. If you can do those three simple things, you can follow along in the Draw Along Show. And now we're going to get started. Here we go. Nice straight line off that way. When I say straight, by the way, I'm cheating because I'm using Photoshop. Okay, don't worry about it. Your lines don't have to be perfectly straight. That is not a prerequisite for these drawings. Okay, if it's wobbly, it's fine. Your drawing is going to turn out great. Um, from here, we're going to do something interesting. A little curvilinear line is going to go up this way. Okay, check it out. Up we go, and then we stop about the middle of that first line we drew. See that? Up and over. We often like to do a little bit of symmetry on this show, but today there's going to be some asymmetry. Check this out. I'm going to continue this line. It's going to curve here and then pop down this way. Check it out. It's going to go down this way and over. So you'll notice that this is higher okay then this all right there you go all right that is step one of our drawing now we're going to move on to step two i want you to estimate about halfway here okay and imagine you're to, you're going to uh, divide this first line we drew into fourths into four equal sections uno dos tres cuatro okay so here's halfway if i want to go halfway between the halfway mark and the edge okay i'm going to start about here and that's where I want to drop this line down like this, just like that, okay? And then I want to do the same thing on the other side, about like that. If it's not totally perfect, it does not matter. I'm going to say this many times in this show, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now here comes a little zigzag action, okay? We're going to come down to the middle and up, down to the middle and up. So check it out, like that, alrighty? 
boom, boom. You can do that more slowly if you like, no reason to rush. From here, I'm just gonna draw a few lines coming in towards that point, okay? Uno, dos, e tres. All right, un, deux, trois. E, or son. A little Mandarin for you there. Phew. I, I know a lot of languages, gang. Don't get me started. Um, I really don't. I just know those few. Uh, from here, we're going to do a little curvilinear line. Check it out. Curvilinear line like so. Okie dokie. And then check this out. I'm going to do an S curve. All right. But it's a reverse. A reverse S curve. Are you ready? Here it comes. Reverse S curve. Just like that. So I'll pause for a moment, check out where we are right now, see how you're doing on your end. Say hi to some more folks here. Um, let's see, plugging in your iPad right now. That's awesome. So you're gonna be drawing maybe in Adobe Fresco. Lovely. If you haven't tried Fresco, friends, I gotta plug it because it's a free drawing app and it is mega powerful. You will enjoy it. All right, now, we're moving on to the next step. From here, we're going to go down, okay, from this little diagonal, down, and curve, check it out, down and curve. Right here, down and curve. There's some symmetry for us, one and two, very nice. Now just carry that out a little further, uno, dos, like so. And then here we're gonna do a curve that passes behind this shape here, right up to there. Alrighty, so we pass behind it like that. And over here, we just angle down, okay? And on this side, we leave it be, okay? We'll get to that in a second. Make that a little bit longer there, because I'm picky. Okay, now, here comes a nice curvilinear line, all right? It's gonna come around with a big C, but I have to know where to stop it. So before I draw that, I'm gonna give myself a little stopping point. I'm gonna look at this angle right here, where I change direction. I come over here, and then I change direction. I'm gonna drop a line straight down here, okay? Slight angle, down and slightly to the right. Straight angle like this, and right about here, I'm gonna make a little dot, see that? Just give myself a little dot there. And from there, I'm going to draw a line that is gonna flare out this way. Not the same angle as this one, a little less severe, just like that, okay? That's it, that's it. All right, now, I've given myself a stopping point, so from here I can do my nice big C curve. Check it out. Around we go. Okay? Just like that. Nice big letter C. Check out the size of that. Compare it to other parts of the drawing so you can get the scale about right. All right? We're always doing comparative drawing here, and that's a good skill to learn for anything you want to draw. Comparing different lines or shapes to other lines or shapes you've already drawn. All righty. Now, here. Check this out. We're gonna angle up slightly, and then we're gonna do a little curvilinear line like that. It's kind of like we're drawing the top of a question mark, wouldn't you say? Okay, now I want you to touch this little end point here with the next line. We're gonna pass across it like this. See this? Just like that. We're leaving a little bit of space right there. Okay, I zoomed in so you could see that clearly. Now imagine that passes behind there and keeps on going, just like that. Okie dokie. And then we're going to we're going to take this line here. We're going to mimic that angle. All right, check this out. I'm going to come up, and then I'm just going to do that. Just curve it up and away. And now I'm having it finish parallel to that other line there, parallel to the other line. Okay, that's an important thing to be able to do. Now, let's come over to this side. Remember this line we drew here? I'm gonna make that a little longer. It's always good to be able to change things later, so I don't wanna to start too high. I can always push that up a little bit. That looks better to me. I'm gonna pop over to this side, okay, for some symmetry, and just draw another one down that way. All right, like so. It's not perfectly symmetrical, and that's fine. You do not have to worry about that. We've talked about that. Ready for another curvilinear line like this? We're gonna go in the other direction. We're gonna come here and curve it out this way. So check it out. From up here, I'm gonna go up, over, and down like so. All right. Now from here, we are going to do a little zigzag, okay? Zigzag, that's a tiny one, right? 
And then we're gonna draw a line like this. So zigzag and a little longer line right next to it. Give yourself a little space here and do a bump, okay? And then zig, zag. That's some small line work there, okay? So you wanna get that as close as you can, okay? And gang, we are almost there, believe it or not. These drawings are short, I'm telling you. From here, we are going to, between this shoulder and this thumb, we're gonna draw a line up, like so. All right. And then all the way across, like so. So look, I've gone farther out than this sleeve here. And then down and then across. And we have drawn an artiste working on a canvas. Now, what is it? Well, that could be anything you like, right? This is where you get to customize the drawing and do anything you like to make it your own. But I just thought it'd be fun to do a sort of classic artist at the canvas illustration since all of you out there are artistes following along in the Draw Along show. It's a simple graphic shape-based illustration for what we're trying to accomplish and it's very clearly visible and it's fun to do this kind of work because once you do these if you remember the steps or if you remember the basic gist of what it is that you drew you could repeat these okay and speaking of repeating them they're all archived on youtube and on behance you can go back anytime you want to watch these episodes at the end of today's episode this will be back available for replay and it'll be called draw along with kyle and then a little dash, and then the name of the thing we drew. So today it will be Artiste, okay? A-R-T-I-S-T-E. It's more fun than saying artist, isn't it? Alrighty, so um, we are gonna move on to favorite books. This is where I like to, if you notice behind me, I've got so many books on the bookshelf. Um, and I like to sometimes talk about some of these books, and it's fun for me to do that. So we're gonna take a look at one of those books. Oh. Pardon me, before we get to that, I hear the appreciation station alarm, so we must get to the appreciation station. Um, this is where we appreciate an audience member, uh, and today, it is Fabio. Fabio, quick appreciation station shout out to you. Tell you a little story. Friends, I don't remember the exact year, I think it was around 2001, 2002. We were out in an enchanted forest and we were hunting for blue mushrooms to make Fabio's very famous cerulean blue fungi soup. Now, we were having a hard time finding some, but we did finally stumble on a nice patch of them. However, there was a bunch of unicorns sitting there gobbling them all up, and I was too afraid to get close to them and try and shoo them away. Fabio, you just whipped out of your back pocket a nice book that was filled with early 19th century romantic poetry. Now, I mentioned at the top of the show, unicorns love that. So the unicorns all gathered around while one of them read aloud from the book, a little bit of Keats, a little bit of uh, Shelley, a little bit of uh, Lord Byron. And while they were busy, you and I were able to gather some of the mushrooms. And thank goodness you carry that book around with you because it saved the day. I really was craving that soup and it was one of the best you ever made. So thanks again for your quick thinking. That was wonderful. All right, now back to the show. We're going to take a look at favorite books. And uh, for today's book, I am choosing a art book that um, is probably, I have to say, in my top five from the shelf. Here it is. It is the art of Over the Garden Wall. Now, if you're not familiar with Over the Garden Wall, it was a uh, mini series animated miniseries from a while back. And what I love about this book is it is one of those rare instances where you get so much more out of the book um, than you think you're gonna get. You think art of and you think, oh, I'm gonna get some sketches, but no friends. This book really gives you a peek behind the scenes of the creation of the show from day one, when they didn't even have a title for the show, where they just had a few rough sketches and so on. Um, and it is filled with thumbnails and post-it notes and anything, anything that went into the creation of the show. Look at all this. Every character, the development uh, that they went through, every episode of the show, if you see here it says episode two, every episode is actually broken down 
into sections where they have rough sketches for the episode. Okay. And concept paintings and then final background paintings and, and all this other gorgeous stuff. It is absolutely marvelous. Um, another thing uh, that is interesting about it is that a lot of the artwork that you see on the show was painted in Photoshop, directly in Photoshop. And as you know, I'm a huge fan of custom brushes and painting in Photoshop, and that is what they were doing. And I'm proud to say that a lot of the artwork was made with, I have to tell you this, my custom Photoshop brushes for those backgrounds. And so I must, I must just have, you know, a little bit of bias there, but look how scary this is. Holy cow. If you haven't seen the show, look it up, watch it. It's only 10 episodes. Every one is a gem. Every episode is only 10 minutes long. It's kind of this perfect little thing. And the illustrations and artwork that went into are absolutely insane. So if you're a fan of the show, or even if you're not, if you're a fan of illustration, if you're a fan of how shows get made, and if you're a fan of character um, development and design, this book is for you. It's an absolute favorite of mine. I look at it all the time. It's very inspiring. That is today's favorite book. So um, yes, if you're really interested in it, check it out. Um, Art of Over the Garden Wall by Sean Edgar and Patrick McHale. Patrick McHale being one of the uh, show creators. Um, it's a beauty, folks. Alrighty, it is time for the animal and activity game. Now, if you've watched the show before, then you know that that means you have to suggest to me in the chat an animal doing something unexpected or weird or crazy or strange or what have you. And I will draw it for you in the short time we have remaining, which is about nine minutes. So get your suggestions here into the chat and I'm going to read them as an example. A little while back on the show, we did, for example, a pigeon riding on a uh, robot vacuum. I mean, come on, I'm not gonna come up with these things on my own. That's why I rely on you to come up with funny, weird little ideas for me to draw. All right, so what are you thinking today? What are you thinking today? We're going to get the nice light blue sketching color Alrighty, so make sure I've got that handy. That looks pretty good to me. I'm ready to sketch. And today we have a few suggestions. For example, a jellyfish making a balloon animal. That's great. Hillary, I like that one. RB has a hedgehog whitewater kayaking. That's crazy. I might do that one. Mercurial says, how about an otter playing tennis? Mercurial, that's unfair. You know I'm a huge tennis fan and you're just trying to get in good with me and make me draw that because I love everything having to do with tennis. I won't fall for it, even though I love the idea. Seriously, it's a good one. A unicorn playing... I don't know what that game is, Steven. Uh, it, it, I have never heard of that. Um, a shoebill singing karaoke. Oh no, unicorn. Once again, the shoebill... Um, I, I really got to look that I, I looked at it. That is a weird looking animal. I can't believe it's real. It looks like some kind of half dinosaur thing. Um, what a strange head. A horse smiling in the water. Huh? A simple one. Maybe the horse is admiring itself. I don't know. Or maybe the horse is about to catch a fish. I don't think horse eat fish. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's see. I got to think here. Time is short. Um, leaning towards... Leaning towards the hedgehog, uh, even though drawing hedgehogs always stresses me out because I can't quite remember how their faces look. Um, but I just did some kayaking on vacation last week, so let's give it a try, okay? Hold on to those suggestions for another show. Don't forget, same time tomorrow, we got another one of these, so we'll get to it. Um, all right, so I'm going to think about the big shapes here. So I know the kayak, I'm just going to get that big shape in here, all right? So there's that kayak. And gonna have to throw the hedgehog in somewhere around here. That's where our hedgehog friend is gonna be. Okay, so head of the hedgehog here. And I know he's got these little little ears, right? Hedgehog's got little ears. Okay. And then they're just full of spiny bits. And we'll give them a little, little life jacket. Safety first, right gang? 
I think I want this arm to be holding down with the kayak, uh, with the, the paddle, pardon me. And the other arm up here, so I'm gonna give him a little grip like that. All right. Gonna have to stuff those um, quills somehow. into uh, that life jacket. How's that gonna work? I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's okay. It's just a drawing. Now we need some water splashing up. Okay. Here and there. There's that center line. For the kayak. By the way, I didn't do this kind of kayaking where you're stuck inside. You know, like I just watched on the Olympics. They had some uh, footage, some highlight footage of that. That would scare me to be in that thing if it rolls over. I know that they're trained to just roll it back over or whatever, but no thanks, folks. That's not my thing. I would, I would panic for sure. Um, if I had to roll that thing over. Okay, so here we go. Let's see, there's one arm there. Make that a little furrier. And a couple lines for the detail there. And a big fat collar pushing up there for the life jacket. I think that's a pretty good sketch. It leaves me about three minutes to do the, the final drawing, which is should be enough time. You know we go fast on these. So here we go. Whoops, made myself a new layer, new layer. One, two, There's that little hedgehog nose. And uh, come around like this. Get those ears there. And we're gonna spike our way around here. Spike, spike, spike. And we're gonna pop this puffy collar up right there under the face. Get the back of that jacket, and then here, we're gonna get one hedgehog arm stretched out, popping out of that life jacket. There we go. Meanwhile, on this side, got the other one. Okay, there we go. And, um, have that just fall behind that ore, okay, which is gonna come through here. Oops, gonna make that a little thinner, there we go. And out and down, and up and over. There we go. Big shapes here. We wrap around, and another one there, and back, and over, and then 
is just about the splashy bits and the water details. Right? We just splash those all around. And let's see how we did. Turn off the sketch. And there we go. Maybe in the in the background you see some land and some trees and whatnot. Okay. Yikes! There it is, folks. Well, hey, hope you enjoyed that. Tomorrow, same time, same deal. I'll see you then for some more draw along action, okay? In the meantime, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and remember to be kind. Until tomorrow, I'm going to say ciao for now. <laughs>